Thank you so much for watching Tomohisa Music. I love reading everyone's comment. I really appreciate your effort writing comments on my video. And today, I'm going to help you how to improve your guitar playing. And I've been teaching guitar for many, many years. And I can see the real problem. Problem is not information. Information, for example, major scale or chord form or phrasing, everything right. And material is awesome. Now you have you can get anywhere, that's great. But how you understand correctly and digesting. So I'm going to list up seven examples of practice idea went wrong. Okay? <laughs> there is more, believe me. But just this is something I noticed, you know, past week I was just teaching, you know, a few students and just, um, you know, each student does great about, you know, jamming or, you know, copying something, you know, grooving, you know, playing with the people. But some of those players not really good at it learning foundation which is not boring but really simple simple things like a chromatic scale or triads or playing some simple melody and nowadays you have a uh you know youtube instagram a lot of people does tiktok so everything you see instant that's the problem. Instantly you see, instantly you can gain passion or insp inspiration. It's good. But you don't want to get anything heavy feeling. <laughs> For example, if you practice, if you've been practicing something not, you know, fun to do, like a chromatic scale, for example, then if you do right, definitely you get the result. Two weeks, three months later, you get the result. But you don't do right. So I explained this one. And then you watch Instagram or TikTok. You know, um, Matthias Asato is playing amazing thing. And emotionally, the video put you down because you're still practicing chromatic scale not going well the reason is how you practice is not right that's why not progressing but also treating foundation as a foundation foundation is not really performance so if you compare like Joe Bonamassa John Mayer you know uh, Chris Buck and um, uh, Matthias Asato of course these guys have done those routine exercise and then basic stuff okay years ago then they move on to next one so they play more because they have really really good foundation so too much long intro but so so here we go first one number one problem chromatic scale it's a simple right simple but really easy to go wrong so let me grab my guitar all right so really simple all right so i ask you to play chromatic scale i know you know fourth string for example so like you know say i show you like this And then I ask students to play. Students would play like this. This is a wrong example. So what happened is chromatic scale is correct, but this is the problem. I said, until you finish fourth finger, keep first, second, third on the string. Then sustain the note. Don't worry about the tempo first. No tempo, okay? You got it. Now, 
palm muting, fifth, sixth string palm muting, so that you can you know hear the bottom notes, right? So that's a problem. Then other things like why do you sustain the fourth no, uh, fourth finger, the note, then move first, second, third to next position, shifting and changing without any noise. So right here, most people do like this. Why? Because, <laughs> not you, but I told you, don't worry about the time. First, sustain the note, make sure each section, that person not listening that. So already, oh yeah, I can do it. But see, this is you got. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. So that's not good because then take your take take some more time to move around the neck, you know? So then somebody says, Hey Tomo, you play really fast chord. How you do that? Because this. You know? Light. Alright? So number one is chromatic scale. Simple, easy, but not really following movement, wrong movement, okay? This is right movement. Wrong movement, this is. Keep moving like that. Next one, when you shift, keep the sound and move first, second, third finger. As soon as you put the first finger, keep second, third, fourth finger on the, you know, next position. So you don't slide. So this is wrong way. This is the wrong one, okay? It's because you're making noise. All right? Now, next one. Tempo setting. So when I teach this one, I always say, please practice slow. But I, am, I, I understood this one, you know, through many years of teaching. Slow, how, how do you mean slow? Slow is different as a people, you know, each people, right? So, slow means to me like this. It's almost like this, if I have a metronome. This is slow because lowest metronome setting. You don't have to use a metronome, but this is the lowest note. So, so that's to mean to slow. So this way, see, I have time to move my finger. See? Okay. Do you get the idea? Do you get the idea? Slow means lowest setting on the metronome. But much more slow this is so so then but example okay i teach this one week students come back so did you practice yes i practice show me yes i can do it so what happened is mistranslation i said play slow and comfortable but student took just comfortable that's not mean slow you just take your time. This way, this way, you know, meaning is every time you play, you improve because you take time, take your time so slow. Okay, so very, very careful. Each time, very meaningful. Okay, so it means you get better. <laughs> so number two, wrong tempo setting, basically. Okay, too fast. So, in other words, play slowly, yukuri, yukuri. Slowly means really slow, like a 40. Okay? Number three, when you learn melody, and sometimes melody has very specific fingerings. So, for example, I do make homework, I post that YouTube or uh, these days I post on TikTok because TikTok easy to download, you know. So TikTok, I uh, I post this one 
this song called Blue Monk, okay? Again, supposedly like this. Okay. I ask a student, ask, did you practice? Yes, I did. So this is how I uh, teach, you know, Skype lesson, Berkeley students, private lesson. I don't teach a private lesson right now, but when I do homework, I always ask them to post on YouTube unlisted. Why? Because cell phone, if you watch cell phone, you don't have like um, tension. Like too loose, too loose. Just like you're watching funny video, you know. But if you once you post on a YouTube, then if you watch it yourself, you know, my, my myself too, uh, you know, on the screen, then feels a little different, a little bit more attention, and a little bit more, you know, good tension, you know. So I ask everybody to do that. Then I saw the video. And students play like this. Like that. I forgot the fingering after that, but. Like that, for something like that. Okay? The reason I teach melody because this is the number one easy, but we have several strings. We learn one string, pitch and stuff, but when I perform, this is more like a performance, right? Change fingering, so third string, second string, so last note become a little brighter. Same way. So this way, learn Blue Monk melody using four notes in two strings. So like major third and go to fifth, you know what I mean? major third go to fifth but you don't play because if you do the last note too heavy i'm a little picky also this is a key of a b flat you know so i just dedicate position around sixth position because it's blues all right and then, so the homework I, I made, play in time, set the metronome 52. You can try. You can watch uh, my TikTok video, and you can download. So basically, you play twice, play melody, and twice play solo. And this solo goes like this, after the melody. So you go, three, four. Sorry, one, two. Like that. Now, then I, I watch the video, then he plays. So then, when I see that, I can see thinking scale. Scale, phrase, it's a little different. So the scale is uh, information. Phrase is life. So when you work on a life, then information, not so important, you know. So that's why I made a homework in TikTok, but what happened is, See, this is students very smart. As soon as I watch in here, oh, here. You know. But see, different sounds. Then he forgot to put this third on seven because hard to find. Like that. See, now you are playing 
around the E flat area, but B flat blues is here, you know. So like that, for example, homework, I made a video, TikTok, only takes one minute, but didn't take enough time to figure it out. So already, he's not fail, but just he could get better because then I, I could give him one more homework, but I can't. I have to repeat the same homework because has to do repeat, you know? It's really, really, it's all about reviewing, reviewing. That's why it just right now it's up to one, two, three, four. We finish uh, three more, but just you know, let me talk about just little things. Just like I said, Joe Bonamassa, John Mayer, Chris Bach, and Matthias Asato. Those guys are similarity. They have they have really really good passion, really good strong blues background, triads, chord sound, time skill, tone production, everything, work ethic. They work so hard. They love guitar. I have to talk louder. They love guitar. They don't want to do anything but the guitar. So anything to them, it's not hard work. It's pure work. You know what I mean? In other words, they do everything to get somewhere. For normal people, that's a lot of work. But for them, that's how they make special. They don't feel hard work as hard work. It just does push, you know. But at the same time, you see, we have to treat everybody equal. Information is too much. So some, sometimes information is overloaded. And then you take information and you study a little quicker. Because those videos, everybody play quicker. And ended up you play, you know, a couple months, same thing, similar thing, but not working well. Just because materials are great, but you took a little too fast. And sometimes these people really dedicate people. They blame themselves because they practice the wrong way. In a way, it's correct. But then after that, if you listen to music, everything becomes pressure. So this is not good. Music is supposed to have a fun. But too much information, information, influence, everything screw up. So sometimes don't listen anybody. Just listen to yourself or listen to your mentor or your friends. Just don't get to the so many questions and uh, <laughs> possibilities. <laughs> That's why I love limitation. Why I like trials? Because of three. Three. Root position, first inversion, second inversion. Each one sounds so good. Like this. See, if you do this, gu, choki, pa, like that game, like in Japan, Japan anywhere. Each one win, each one lose. I love that. That's a trias. Do you know? Yeah. Four. Seventh chord, it's cool, but it's too much information, <laughs> you know. All right, let's keep going. Now, about the four notes, right? Here's a chorus. I do, you know, final test. Sometimes I test all of the chords. You know, A minor seven. <laughs> that sounds great. It's not in tune. Please. Yeah, in tune. Maybe not. So what happens is A minus 7, it's correct because position is correct. Why is it not correct? Because that person probably look at the tablature. Then this is the tablature and this is the video. This is very common. This is probably 70% of you know people around the middle play like this thinking A minus 7. A minus 7, you can play this way too, but this is not. It's a nice sound in gel. Okay, correct way root, flat 7, flat 3, and 5th. And 5th string, muted. Other problem, gear setting, because most people's you know, guitar, low, 
low string height. That means not good, easy to play. So what happens is this, if you press it on the other bit, see, this note, what we call fourth, you don't need a fourth and a minus seven, especially low notes like that, doesn't work. So number six, wrong chord shape, <laughs> wrong chord shape. You know, and I'm saying wrong chord of sound. Shape is good, shape is good, but see, this is not good, like that. And this one too, when we play funk. So if you play D9, Like that. So, so now, root, major third, plus seven, nine, fifth. Then what happens is, again, you watch YouTube video. Yeah, this is D9. I got it. No. <laughs> this is not D9. This is D sus four. This is D9. So little things like that you can see. see. So you have to learn that. So You see, a lot of chords that you can play, but if you play right chord shape but wrong like an angle, then you don't get it. So that's that that means when you play, you have to really careful. Root, flat seven, flat three, five. You have to have a third. This is really happen a lot, the Berkeley students, especially around the middle, you know. Guy can play a really good solo, but chords is not tight, you know? Other things. One more, last one. This is a chord shape problem. So I will say like, okay, can you play E diminished seventh? And guy goes, no, that's a minor seven flat five. Oh, oh, that's right. So like that, see? thinking chord shape because that person was thinking thinking this diminished one you know like that okay so you see see then then one time I do listen like this okay this is diminished oh is not the dominant no that's the same shape <laughs> you know what I mean So here already, you have to understand, same shape, uh, it's not same, same sound, like that. Oh, that's the same. So you have to really understand, I don't want to go keep it too, because sometimes I, I excited so much and I talk a little too much, so I have to quit here. But you see, chord shape, it's good. But this is a guitar player. Okay, play A play B, <laughs> you know, that's guitar thing, but sometimes you have to go, okay, play A, play B, okay, something different, going down, you know, so that's something you have to think about it, okay, you got the idea, okay, number one problem, chromatic scale, movement, you know, number two, wrong tempo, Slow is a metronome setting, 40 is slow, not fast. Melody, Blue Monk, 
not just one string, two strings, you play major third to fifth. Number four, blue solo, major pentatonic, do not play pattern. You play more around the quarter tone, the key. Number five, oh, number five, I didn't read it, sorry. Good, good thing I read it. Wrong metronome setting, yeah. So if you play 52 and Blue Monk, okay? This is, this is hard to do. So I asked to play 214, means like this. A one, two, three, four. Something like that. Then I ask students to practice one, then I, he put this assignment on YouTube. And YouTube sounds like this. <laughs> How to do it. So he put one and a three, not two and four. So, what's happening, and this has happened too, my tape lesson from Japan, something people do once in a while. Inside, you understand 2 and 4, but counting wrong way, not, not, not make sure that's right. So, you see, information is right, but how you process, how you understand, that's why communication, reviewing, so important. You know, even just little things. Did you buy that? Did you buy the right kind or no? You know, this morning, this morning, this morning, I, you know, I made a coffee and then I, I pour, you know, pour, this is typical, you know, same idea. Pour something, I thought that's cream. And then I, I tasted, this cream really sweet. And my wife said, did you put the egg knock? No way, yes. Because same shape, same, same, cotton same shape so i just go like this grab it i didn't see yellow package you know see i didn't pay attention it's the same thing in music the same thing see this is eggnog this is a cream the same thing <laughs> easy to make a mistake yeah all right so then i did the number five so number six wrong quarter sound right shape right shape wrong sound right shape wrong sound like that okay then last one uh diminish diminish chord play like that because of shape then you play diminished chord and people think oh that's the same as dominant why no last one this is the advanced lesson so don't pay attention you can pass it E minus M flat 5, this chord shape has four different functions. Tell you why. E minus 7 flat 5, root, flat 5, flat 7, flat 3. And you can play like this. This is the beauty. Same thing you can play here. Not here. Builds no strings. Then, if you put your finger here. Wow. C ninth. So now third, seven, nine, fifth. Wow. Then if you put the Wow. Now G minus six. Root six flat three five root. Wow. Wait a minute. Wow, that's Joe Pass. <laughs> you know. Wow. I'm using thumb. I shouldn't. That's okay. Now Root flat seven major third flat thirteen flat nine flat nine. So same shape has a four function. That means minus seven flat five. I learned this 
あアルペジオそうミンスそうなの、アイケンスブルージャム。そうなの。You play E minor seven flat five shape. Go up. Then going down, blues. <laughs> There's too much, too many notes. So, like that, you see. Minus seven for a five. You can play as a blues. Thank you so much. So today, question is why I'm not improving. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame information. Just slow down. Be careful. These seven different points and these seven different points you can apply to other source, other things, more than guitar. So you don't use eggnog on the coffee like I did this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi's music. If you like more serious, fun guitar lesson, of course, you can join my Guitar Wisdom and you can stick around here. It's all free guitar you know, channel here, Tomoshi's music. And please write your comment. What do you, what do you thought about this lesson today? I'm so excited today. <laughs> all right. See you soon. Thank you.